how to use when i work when i work tutorial for beginners hi guys in this video i will talk you through how you can use this platform called when i work so this is basically a scheduling app or like a work application to manage your schedules and your employees now if you want to go and access this platform try to type in app.whenaiwork.com now this usually depends on what country you're from but usually it works app.whenaiwork.com or simply whenaiwork.com right over here now once you come up to their site you'll be able to see this particular good looking platform right here now when you want to start just go ahead and click on log in if you already have an account and then try to input your name and your email address if you haven't done that so let me just go ahead and input my name here because i really haven't inputted any account yet and then let me just input my email address here and after that let me click get started right over here now what happens next is that it asks you your mobile number up to you if what the mobile number you'll put in will it be your personal number or your work number for this i'm just gonna go ahead and input my yeah oh north korea oh wow that's weird okay so i'm just gonna input my number and this one is the industry that your business is in so it can be customer support education food services government healthcare hospitality entertainment logistics manufacturing on demand or gig let me just go ahead and input in i think food services and the company name would be yeah yoke maybe like next the number of your employees so you choose from these numbers right here it can support up to 500 plus employees so for this let me just select 6 to 10 and then let's go ahead and click start free trial i think i there you go let me just all right it's creating our account it usually takes time so this app really works with you know dashboards of course and the dashboard shows analytics the important ones and of course the scheduler tab of the app is the main highlight of this now it's asking us to set up a password now i'm just use this um generated password right over there and let me set the password right now and after that i think we're pretty much good to go after industry, I think we still have to set up positions and, you know, also add in employees um, before anything else. Let's try and see how it works. Like what I said, now we're adding in positions. Says you choose the positions you you schedule in your workplace. You can always edit or add new positions later. Okay, so since uh, since uh, okay. So since we chose food service as our business, it automatically shows here positions for food businesses such as um, baker, barista, bartender, cashier, cook, delivery, front of the house, stuff like that. But if you don't see any of the positions that you or if there's a missing position, just go ahead and click on create a custom position right here or create a position. Now let's just go ahead and click on front of the house. Now, for the employee setup, it says here how many total employees work for your organizations. Now, organization, we actually chose this a while ago. Now, let's try and choose in 1 to 49 for this. And you can add employees and tag them to all the positions they work to start building the schedule. Employees won't see the schedule until you invite them to join when I work. So, you can create here schedule over here of your employees and their in their positions but they won't be able to see it unless of course you invite them to when it works so like for example i'm going to add in liam right over here liam miller is like for example my baker okay let me just input mill uh her his email right here there you go and his position can either be like yeah oh because we just clicked in front of the house, this only shows up here. So let me just try and, okay, let me just add in like manager over here. There you go. And let's click on next. You can add in more employees actually by going on to this tab right here. 
Now the scheduler setup, this is when you set your schedule like for the general, yeah, for, for the app to know at what day do you usually work during the week. So your schedule will start on this day and they says they say here we'll use it to calculate weekly overtime. So if there's someone who actually had an overtime, the system will know because you uh, inputted the normal or the shift that you work all throughout the week. Now let's try to put in Monday. And then you can also create shift templates. What are your commonly scheduled shifts? We will save these for you to use quickly again and again. So now if you have a recurring um, activity or if you have a recurring meeting or a recurring, yeah, like a daily basis kind of work, you input them here and include also the day and then input who's going to do it. If you add in, in like two or three or more positions, five positions, um, you can also choose here who's going to do it. Anyone from this position can actually do it. That's really cool. So not, not, a specific person can do the task anyone who has this position like for example you have three people in charge and then it'll depend who amongst those people are not busy at that time so they can go ahead and fulfill this particular tasks that's why i think this platform is useful because it doesn't focus on the person who's going to do the task it just says here ask um just ask here the time and the position of the person who's going to do that and basically the scheduler setup works that way but this is just the initial setup you guys you'll still have a lot more features to go ahead and work with later on you'll see about that now you can see here four uh, tabs here right on the top part you can see here dashboard of course beside the dashboard is the notification this is where you see all your notifications the dashboard here shows you different analytics important analytics such as attendance notices open shifts, work labor cost, pay per period forecast, stuff like that, and also snapshot. Now, for the scheduler, this is the most important feature of this platform. This is where you schedule your uh, the tasks that are needed to be done. You can see here, I input in two people, right? Myself and Liam. That's because, yeah, you can see here two different people. That's because I only input in two. Now, this is for the custom task. The custom task is an open shift. So it can either be any time and any day within the week, within these days. Now, if you want to like add in a... Uh, a specific a uh, specific task for Monday, for example, for Tuesday, for Wednesday, for Thursday, for Friday, and so on. Just add them right over here. Now, how do you do that? Just click on the add button right over here, and then once you do that, there's a pop up window that you need to fill in all the details that are needed for your employee to actually do the task. Now, assign to, um, open shift. Liam Miller or Stanley Bowell and open shift is always right here. So it means that anyone can take the task as long as that person is in that particular position. And you can also tick this off if you want to require pickup approval and more information for you to input in right over here, just so the task can be done well and completely. And after that, save and publish. You can choose to publish or let your employees know about this task or you can just save it right here. All right. Now let's take a look at this comment button right here. It's an annotation. So it's really, it's like a comment. Yeah, uh, it's like a comment function where you can add in a custom message right on, like right for this day, like maybe of you have a specific workflow that you're expecting for a day, then maybe just input them right over here and click save. You can exit after that. And we also have the attendance tab. Now, this is where you monitor the attendance of your employees. You can set them up first before you do that. So this is how you set it up. Just try and input in the days that you work, like how long is your pay period? When did your last pay period end? Stuff like that. And then after that, you're pretty much good to go. You can see your other functions such as work chat 
and you can start chatting for free. Basically, you can chat with your workmates right here. So yes, compared to other work scheduling software, I think this focuses on task. It's a task-based scheduler platform and that's really, you know, the direct to the point and their function right over here, which is the scheduler tab is really neat and helpful. So what do you think about this platform, you guys? If is it worth the try? If you want to try it, just go to their website right here and click on free trial. There's a free trial for 14 days. And let me know down in the comments below what you think. That's it for this video. See you again in the next video. Peace out.